من In Jesus name we pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to appreciate you this morning for this wonderful privilege given unto us to come before the throne of grace so that we shall obtain mercy and grace to help at the time of need. Lord, we want to thank you because of your promises that whenever two or three of us are gathered in the name of the Lord, you are there in our mix. Lord, we appreciate your presence in our mix this morning. Almighty God, we thank you because of your promises that if we call upon you, you will answer and show us great and mighty things which we know not. Lord, we thank you for the journey mercies granted to each and every one of us that are here already. And those that are still on their way, we commit them into your hand. Father, we are praying and asking that you grant quicken them and grant them journey mercies in Jesus' name. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you because of your loving kindness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Lord, we are grateful unto you because of all your promises, which are yea and amen in Christ Jesus. Father in glory, we thank you. All our brethren that are supposed to be here this morning, and they are not yet here, Father, we commit them unto your hand. We are asking that you quicken their steps. And those that are still daily dying, whether they will come or they will log in on Zoom, Father, we are asking, O oh God, that you quicken them because it is the Spirit of God that quickens the flesh, profited nothing. Father, in glory, we are grateful unto you. We thank you because of your faithfulness. Thank you for the just concluded week. Thank you for how you have led us. Thank you for your protection and guidance. Thank you for your deliverances. Thank you for putting food on our tables. Father in glory, we are grateful unto you. There is nothing we can give back to you in exchange that will be commensurate in all your doings upon our lives. Now we lifting up our voice together to say thank you. We are grateful. Oh Lord, we are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord. Hallelujah for all you have done for us. Hallelujah. We are grateful, O oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. For all you have done for us. Hallelujah. We are grateful. Oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful. Oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, O oh Lord, Alleluia, for all you have done for us, Alleluia. We are grateful, oh Lord, we are grateful, Lord, 
We are grateful, O Lord, Alleluia, for all you have done for us. Alleluia, we are grateful, O Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you, Jehovah. Your ways are not the ways of man. We thank you, Jehovah. Your ways are not the ways of man. We thank you, Jehovah. We thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you, Jehovah, your ways are not the ways of man. We thank you, Jehovah, your ways are not the ways of man. We thank you, Jehovah. We thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you, Jehovah. Your ways are not the ways of man. We thank you, Jehovah. Your ways are not the ways of man. We thank you, Jehovah. I want us to open our Bible in the book of Psalm 92. Psalm 92. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. When God said something is good, when God said, when God recommends something and said that thing is good, we need to obey it. We need to do it. We need to, you know, practice it. God said it is a good thing to Give thanks unto the Lord. And this morning, we have a lot of things to thank God for. Last week, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, we had um, service of songs. We do the burial yesterday. And some of us that followed the whole program, you now see that some of us that are in our evening time. You know, in life there is morning time, there is noon time, there is evening time. We are now in our evening time. It is a good thing for us to give God thanks for giving us the opportunity and the privilege to be in the presence of God to prepare our exit. Because we know some of us that are above 70, some of us that are 60, you know that the number of years that is, that is left for you is shorter than the one you have already lived. So for that reason, you have every reason, every cause to appreciate God for always getting you prepared for exit. And those that are still young, though exit doesn't come by age, but some of us that know that we have reached the, you know, um, the, 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 the period or that time of exit should always be appreciative. Be always, you know, thank God. No matter whatever you are seeing, no matter whatever you are facing, no matter whatever challenges you are having, both in health, in uh, family, or whatever, we have every reason to appreciate God. So God said here, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. So I want us to open our mouth and begin to appreciate God for the success of the uh, last week uh, our program. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank God. Thank God for the program. Father in heaven, we thank you for the program we had last week. Even the message that was given on that 
Last week was just full of blessings for us. When the man of God, the visiting um, uh, minister that came and ministered to us, he made us to know those that are still doubting if there is heaven or earth, if there is heaven or hell, those that are still daily dying if they will be serious with God. We had his testimony when he gave his life to Christ at the age of 13. So I want us now to open our mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Thank God for this, for that uh, man of God that visited us. Thank God that the message that was preached on Friday on service of songs Appreciate God. God said it is a good thing to give God thanks. We don't have any reason to complain. We don't have any reason to complain. We don't have any reason. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank God for that, you know, last week, God's divine visitation. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank God. Father in heaven, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you, God, my Father, for last week's program. Lord, we thank you, God, my Father, for the service of songs. Thank you for the word of God. I want us to also pray that the message that all these messages will bear fruit in our hearts, in our lives. That these messages will bear fruit. So that each and every one of us that are privileged to listen to these messages, I want us to pray that we should be doers of the word, not hearers deceiving our own selves. Father in heaven, we thank you. Lord, we are grateful unto you. We thank you because you are a faithful God. We thank you because you are a loving Father. Lord, we, are, we appreciate you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you glory. Let your name, O oh God, my Father, be glorified. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want us to look at our hymn book in hymn 9. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, they fell not. As thou hast been, the forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Summer and winter and springtime and harvest. Some moon and stars in their courses above. Join with all nature in money for witness. To thy great faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Lord, unto me, pardon for sin and the peace that endure it. Thy own dear presence to share and to guide. Strength for today, 
and bright hope for tomorrow. Blessings all mine with ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. I want us to open our mouths and bless the name of the Lord and thank God for when you are singing this hymn or all the hymns, either in your closest or in a gathering, I want us to have meaning into the word we are singing. I want us to pray and bless the name of the Lord for his faithfulness. Great is his faithfulness. Great is his faithfulness. Father in heaven, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we cannot thank you enough for your deliverances, for your healing, for your restoration, for your recovery, for your revival in our individual lives, in our church, Deeper Life Bible Church Concord. I want us to bless the name of the Lord. Last week, we, celebrate, we celebrated all the graduates in our church, and most of these youths are following. Since our brother Ebuka led in one of the uh, night vigils, he made some statements that caught my attention. That for these children to, with all the things they are facing in this school, in the society, peer group, and they still follow, they still come to church, they still pray with us in our families, they still read their Bible, we need to appreciate God for these children. We need to thank God because this is a, 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 a country where they are given, you know, freedom, even freedom to disobey their parents. They were allowed. They are encouraged. They were even advised if they talk to you, have to come and report to us. But the Bible says, Train up your child in the way he will go. When he grew up, he will not depart from it. Don't spare your rod. Spare your rod and spoil a child. But here, don't ever even mention rod. Don't even lift it up. Don't even touch it at all. So I want us to appreciate God for this, our youths, this, our children. Bless the name of the Lord. The day they were being prayed for here, my mind was going to say, God, these are the children you brought out from fire, from hell, from the corruption and decay of the land, and brought them to church. Father, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you for these children. We thank you for these youths. Lord, we thank you for their lives. Lord, we thank you for this youth. We are grateful unto you. Great is your faithfulness towards this, our children. Father, we are very, very grateful. We are very, very grateful. The seed that is being sowed in the life of these children must surely bear fruits. 30 foes, 60 foes, and 100 foes. Father, we bless you. We bless you. We thank you for this youth. We will bless you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will bless you from everlasting, 
everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I want us to open our mouth in the book of Luke chapter 10. Verse 41. Luke chapter 10, verse 41. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful. Mary had chosen that good part we shall not be taken away from her. If you look at Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Every other thing shall be added unto you. But as you look at how things are, how people prioritize some things in their life more than the word of God, more than seeking the presence of God. We come here for such the scripture. We are always counseled to study it at home, you know, go through it. Even as it being preached here, as we go back home, let's, as messages are being preached, sermons are being preached, we are always encouraged to do like the Berea Christians. The Bible says that after Paul, with all his enthusiasm and power, anointing, after preaching to them, they go back home. Study the Pentateuch to make sure what Paul has told them is according to what is written in the Pentateuch that is available with them. But in our own time, technology has made it so easy for us that even someone that was preached January 2020, you can still go go now and see it, watch it, listen to it, pray over it. I just watched a message, listened to a message. I told my wife, after we listen this message together, we have a lot of prayer points. That, that we, that you, after listening to it, the message will drag you on your knees. So I want us to pray that any one of us or among us, among the brethren that are prioritizing other things more than the word of God, we should redress our steps. Jesus told Martha, 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 you are, you are, you are trying Wanting to make, you know, prepare food, make things, you know, keep him comfortable, make him feel happy. But he said one thing is needful. One thing is needful. So I want us to pray. Talk to, your, talk to God concerning yourself right now. And tell God, help me not to prioritize, not to take, you know, uh, as the Bible says in Matthew 6, 33, it says, seek first. Not to take the first and put it last. Or take the first and put it second. But let's put that first to be first. I want us to pray and tell the Lord. Lord, help me. Help me. Help me. So that that thing you said that is needful. Say Mary has taken that one that is needful. It's good to do, to engage in our jobs. It is good to attend to home, you know, house call. 
it is good to do things. But he said, one thing is needful. One thing. One thing is needful. So I want you now to talk to God and tell God, help me. Help me to grip. Help me to take hold of that one thing that is needful. Our Father and our God, we just want to thank you. Lord, I present myself before you. I, O oh God, present all my brethren before you, asking you to help us. Help us, O oh God, so that we will not be, you know, um, in our local um, language, they call it Agboro. You know, we usher people into the vehicles and, you know, give them receipts and make them to travel, and we still remain in the park and be smoking and drinking. Why those people have you know, gone to their uh, uh, place of business and make their money, and you will be busy in the park. Let us not be such, you know, um, um, uh, 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 Agboro. We are pastors, we preach to people. We are workers, we follow people up with our own life. We need to be recovered. We need to be recovered ourselves. Father in heaven, we call upon you this morning, asking you, O oh God, Lord, to help me, help my brethren, Lord, so that that thing you said that is needful, help us to lay hold on that thing that you said that is needful. Our Father and our God, we are calling upon you. Lord, we need your help because we know by strength shall no man prevail. We know that beside you we can do absolutely nothing. Our Father and our God, we are calling upon you. Remember your promises that if we call upon you, you will answer. And he that asketh, receive it. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray and commit today's service into the hand of God. They search the scriptures. The sermon, those that will minister to us, the choristers, I want us to present them before the Lord and ask God, all the people we are going to use this morning, both for the search of the scripture, sanctify them afresh, fill them afresh with the Holy Spirit. Give them unction to function so that as they stand here ministering, the Bible says in the book of Ezra, it says, when Ezra stood on the pulpit, he was higher than all. So I want us to pray that as they stand here ministering, they will be higher than all. That the word of God that will come out of their mouth will minister life. The Bible says that the letter killed, but the spirit giveth life. So that they will minister spirit that gives life. That the word of God that we come forth here this morning, no person that listening to the word will go back home and still remain the same. Our Father and our God, we are calling upon you. Lord, we know, O oh God, you are a faithful God. You are a covenant-keeping God. Father, according to your promises, it is written that whatsoever we desire when we pray, we should believe. Lord, this morning we desire, O oh God, great Jehovah, the sincere milk of the word, so that the word shall come forth. It will minister life. It will minister healing. It will minister, you know, delivery, deliverance and restoration. Even as the choristers will be ministering, we, I, we saw in the Bible that when the evil spirit from God caught Saul, and as David began to minister, the evil spirit will depart from him. So I want us to pray and ask God that as the choristers we stand here this morning to minister, let every, evil, let every negative spirit in this auditorium be cast away, flee away. Father in heaven, we are calling upon you, lifting up, O oh God, all the instruments you are going to use this morning. 
asking you, O oh God, to fill them afresh with the Holy Spirit. Anoint them, O oh God, with the Holy Ghost and with power. Give them unction to function so that at the end, O oh God, all ears that listen to their ministration, we, O oh God, be revived, recovered, and be restored. In Jesus' name we pray. Want us to pray for our pastor, Pastor Shuba. Ask God for grace of God upon his life. You know, uh, if you sit down to see the activities that is upon his head, he needed grace. He needed more wisdom. He needed all that, you know, all that God can help him. All the awe and Aaron that is lifting up his hands, that God should help them also, so that they will be an encouragement to him. You see, all, like all this um, burial, all this, every, all this um, uh, 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 something we celebrated on son last Sunday, all the graduates, all the um, service of songs, all every, visiting all the brethren, those that live very far, he makes sure he visit them. I want us to pray and ask the Lord for grace of God upon his life. Because by strength shall no man prevail. I want us to pray. Lift him up into the hand of God and ask God for grace of God upon his life. Ask God for wisdom. Even as people are coming for counseling, by the wisdom of God, he will be able to counsel them out of depression, out of confusion, out of fear, out of, you know, uh, 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 troubles of life. I want us to pray for him, lift him up into the hand of God, and ask God to help him. Because we know by strength shall no man prevail. We know that beside the grace of God and spirit of God upon his life, he will make a mistake. I want us to pray for him. Father, we lift up, O oh God, our pastor. Shub unto your hand. Father, we are asking for grace upon his life. We know by strength shall no man prevail. Uphold him with your right hand of righteousness. Not even the wife, we ask, O oh God, that you help her, O oh God, to be a support system unto him. Thank you, Father, because we know you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray for the ongoing uh, prayer conference that is going on right now. Ask God for, you know, to strengthen them and to help them so that at the prayer conference, God will revive them and make available the last program the women have. We said, where are the... Where are the Deborahs? That all the Deborahs that are hidden, all the Deborahs that are not that have not yet identified their calling, that God should, you know, uh, uh, make them to be revealed. Father, we thank you for the prayer conference that is going on right now. Lord, we pray and ask you, God, that through this prayer conference. Lord, we will walk out revival. Lord, we will we walk out, oh God, great Jehovah, revival. Lord, upon their lives, upon the life of all those that will be listening to their ministration and their prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray for this nation, this land we are in. Most of us heard of what happened at the you know, um, political rally. I want us to pray. If they have succeeded in slaying him, <laughs> maybe this church, we may not even be uh, allowed to be in the church today. And we pray if the individual that this this thing have a black skin, <laughs> the, the shit hole, <laughs> no, no matter whether he's American, The situation wouldn't be palatable at all. So we thank God for even sparing him. If God wanted to kill him, it was not uh, through assassination that um, 
um, uh, uh, Eli was killed. The Bible said that he died out of heart attack. <laughs> so, so if God wants. Where they are going about in their in their prayers. So I want us to pray and thank God for sparing him and thank God for, you know, let let God God is God is awesome God. If you look listen, if you go through uh, uh, what do you call it, um, um, what this man in how he ended his life. Some of us, some people would uh, even take, take precaution of how they take this life. So I want us to pray for sparing his life and uh, committing this nation into the hand of God. This America is our Jerusalem. I want us to pray and ask God for peace of this land. I want us to pray and ask God for the peace of this land. Because of our sake, because of the sake of believers, genuine believers in this land, God should show mercy. God should show mercy to this land. Father in heaven, we are calling upon you, asking you, O oh God, for mercy. Lord, we are calling upon you, asking you for mercy. Lord, for this nation, O oh God, my Father, the atrocities that is being allowed permitted, approved by the government, has not even gone up to one quarter of what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. And that nation was destroyed. But all those things now are being allowed and permitted and approved. So I want us to pray and ask God for mercy. God, show mercy to this land. Show mercy to America. Lord, show mercy to this land. Father, we are calling upon you. Remember your promises, O God, that if we call upon you, you will answer. Lord, we are asking, show mercy to this land. Show mercy to this land for the sake of the elect in this land. Father, show us mercy. Show us mercy. Thank you, Father, because we know you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' most victorious name, we have prayed. We are grateful, oh Lord, are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord, alleluia. You have done for us, alleluia. We are grateful, O oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. O oh Lord, we are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, O oh Lord. Alleluia. All you have done for us. Alleluia. We are grateful, O oh Lord. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Thank God for his faithfulness. Thank God for his loving kindness. Thank God for his grace. Thank God for all his doings upon our lives. Bless the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We cannot thank you enough. We cannot thank you enough. Because you have done marvels unto us. Baba, we praise you. We give you glory. We give you glory. We thank you for answer to prayers. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your divine provision. Thank you for, Lord, your healings and deliverances upon our lives. Thank you, God, my Father, for saving us from sin. Thank you for this gift of salvation. 
Thank you, God, my Father, for as many of God that are sanctified and living that sanctified life. Baba, we praise you. We give you glory. Let your name, O oh God, be glorified. In Jesus' most victorious name, we have prayed.